कॉन्टेक्ट टू अवेल दी कॉम्बो ऑफर ऑफ जनरल स्टडीज एंड पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑप्शनल विद ट्वेंटी परसेंट डिस्काउंट यस गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन यस गुड मॉर्निंग टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू हैव द हिंदू एनालिसिस ऑफ फिफ्टीन सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ओके लेट एस सी विच आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट आर्टिकल्स फ्रॉम टूडे इज द हिंदू न्यूज पेपर येस दीज आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट आर्टिकल्स लेट एस टेक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्टेक्सट ऑफ दीज आर्टिकल्स हाउ दे आर रिलेवेंट टू आवर एग्जामिनेशन एंड देन विल डिस्कस दैम वन बाय वन इन डिटेल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मेन्स रिलेटेड आर्टिकल्स यस इंटरनेट शट डाउन इन इंडिया इश्यूज एंड इम्पैक्ट सो ऑन पेज नंबर सिक्स देर इज वन आर्टिकल इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द इंस्टेंसेस ऑफ इंटरनेट शट डाउन इन इंडिया इन रिसेंट टाइम्स हाउ इट हैज इंक्रीज डिस्पाइट ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजमेंट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी ओके सो द आर्टिकल इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ सच इंटरनेट शट डाउन हाउ इंडिया हैज बिकम द इंटरनेट शट डाउन कैपिटल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड ओके सो दिस इज अ न्यू एस्पेक्ट न्यू इश्यू दैट वी आर डिस्कसिंग इन द डिस्कोर्स और द हिंदू एनालिसिस दैट वी आर हैविंग इन लास्ट थ्री फोर मंथ्स दिस इज न्यू आर्टिकल ओके सो दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम पॉलिटी एंड गवर्नेंस जी एस टू पेपर then india australia relations there is one article on page number 7 opaid page it is talking about india australia bilateral relationship yes the context is a recent visit or we can say inaugural 2 plus 2 meeting between the foreign ministers and defense ministers of two countries so the context is that meeting and the article is talking about how bilateral relations have evolved over the period of time be it in terms of let's say strategic relations security and defense relations and economic cooperation right at the same time article is also mentioning some issues and obstacles faced by two countries in promoting good relations so this is important gs2 paper international relations ir section then india us cooperation in climate action then there is one editorial on page number 6 it is having the context of recent visit by us special envoy on climate to india john kerry and yes the outcome already we have discussed in the previous le- previous lectures the <coughs> climate action and finance mobilization dialogue instituted in that meeting right so the article is talking about the cooperation and whether india needs to commit itself for zero emission targets all these aspects are discussed here this is important from gs2 paper international relations india us cooperation in climate action at the same time it is important from gs3 paper environment section right specifically for prelims related developments yes in the previous two lectures we talked about cpi consumer price index now the data on wholesale price index is also released fuel prices quicken wpi inflation to 11.39% in august month so basics about wpi we are going to understand from economy perspective for prelims examination then no firm commitment from india on net zero so while leaving india john kerry has said that the government ha- government of india has not given a firm commitment on net zero target net zero emission targets okay this is the stand that we have towards climate action and the commitments towards paris agreement at present so from environment section you need to have follow up here finally on page number 7 the hindu team analyzes certain data on particular issue so uh, in today's the hindu newspaper on page number 7 the data on farmers selling their produce in apmc mandis or open markets private markets or the government agencies all this data is given also how many of the farmers are aware about msp that is given by the government all this data you can use this in your essay paper or gs3 paper economy part is there even we are expecting question in gs2 paper also because the farm laws and the polity and governance part is also involved right and finally practice prelims mcqs on today's current affairs 
सो फर्स्ट आर्टिकल बिहाइंड द ग्रेट इंडियन इंटरनेट शटडाउन ओके द कॉन्टेक्स्ट हियर इज दैट रिसेंट इंटरनेट शटडाउन टू इंस्टेंसेस दैट हैपन इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एंड हरियाणा गो सो इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर देर वॉज ए डेथ ऑफ प्रोमिनेंट सेपरेटिस्ट लीडर रिसेंटली एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट द जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन गवर्नमेंट हैड इंटरनेट शटडाउन सो एज टू प्रिवेंट एनी अन टूवर्ड इवेंट एट द सेम टाइम हरियाणा गवर्नमेंट रिसेंटली हैड इंटरनेट शट डाउन इन सम ऑफ इट्स डिस्ट्रिक्ट बिकॉज ऑफ फार्मर्स प्रोटेस्ट ओके सो दीज टू इंस्टेंसेस इन रिसेंट टाइम्स बट प्रीवियसली स्पेशली इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वेन वी हैड लेट से सी ए ए प्रोटेस्ट और द फार्मर्स प्रोटेस्ट और मेनी सच इंस्टेंसेज दैट हैपन शाहीन बाग प्रोटेस्ट राइट सो एट दैट टाइम द इंटरनेट शट डाउन इन दिल्ली हरियाणा एंड यूपी बिकेम इन फेमस राइट सो वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इन द रिसेंट इंस्टेंसेस इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजमेंट इन अनुराधा भासीन वर्सेस यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया केस दैट वॉज गिवन ऑन टेंथ ऑफ जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी Now, in this particular case, tenth of January, Supreme Court has said that the internet shutdown by the government or administration should be used in uh, we can say that minimal cases, or we can say that when. absolutely necessary it also talked about the minimum scope it also talked about the proportionality legality okay so all these aspects should be taken into consideration whenever the inter internet shutdown is to be uh, decided by the authorities or the government at the same time in the same case the supreme court has also said that uh, whenever the government takes such decision it is subjected to judicial review it is subjected to judicial review by the judiciary okay so in this judgment the supreme court has categorically said that uh, whenever the internet shutdown is to be imposed all these factors should be considered and therefore the government is accountable here the government is held accountable for such kind of measures so in the same judgment the supreme court has also said that it is internet is very important or access to internet is basic fundamental right under indian constitution it is fundamental right under indian constitution article 21 is being considered here at the same time under article 19 freedom of speech and expression so yes internet is very important for that purpose also right so you need to be aware access to internet already the kerala high court has also given similar kind of judgment before supreme court also right access to internet is fundamental right now what are the impacts of internet shutdown and the issues involved in the internet shutdown we need to analyze that first of all there has been let's say delay in the publication of such government orders on the internet shutdown on the government websites and therefore the people are not able to hold the government accountable or file pil in the supreme court or high court regarding such internet shutdown okay so there is delay in the publication and such pub delay or non publication of orders undermines public confidence in the government it reduces the trust between the government and people that is part of governance we can say then supreme court decisions are not statutorily recognized and because of that officials enforce law incorrectly as a result of lack of awareness 
this ha we have seen such kind of thing when let us say section 66A of IT Act 2000 was struck down in 2014 uh, sorry 15 uh, when the Supreme Court in Shreya Shingal case section 66A was struck down but it was repeatedly invoked by the police officials on the ground right so when it is statutorily not recognized by the government such kind of Supreme Court orders then officials are incorrectly using this because of lack of awareness even during the let's say internet shutdown cases so in one of such instance even state of Meghalaya the Meghalaya government was not aware about this Anuradha Bhasin judgment of the Supreme Court this is how the situation that we have in India right at the same time we have to understand the economic loss because of internet shutdown because internet is an important medium for let us say economic transactions livelihood of the people or we can say that even transport sector is there so all the production activities transport activities services they become standstill when there is internet shutdown and this is having huge economic impact in addition to this we have to understand that this economic impact is disproportionate on the backward sections of society socio-economically backward sections of society so they adversely affect from the lower social economic backgrounds more why we have to understand this because in India let us say the data from 2019 says that around 97 percent of the internet use is from mobile data and not broadbands only 3 percent in people in India in 2019 this data is old one obviously uh, the broadband use may have increased in last two years but it suggests that majority of the people use mobile data and when this mobile data is shut down through the internet shutdown then we can understand that it is disproportionately affecting the socio uh, lower socio economic why because broadband in india is still costly okay and because of that it it remains the privilege for higher strata of society right and finally we can talk about democratic rights of peaceful protest under article 19 right so freedom of speech and expression and peaceful assembly so peaceful right to protest is already a fundamental right and this is to some extent affected through the internet shutdown the article is also talking about internet shutdown affects such kind of peaceful assembly why because whenever there is a spread of rumors in a physical manner the people are not able to verify that on the internet okay so this is also a, 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 another kind of we can say challenge that people face during the internet shutdown right so to some extent we have to understand that in the name of national emergency or public emergency or public safety though the law says or allows for internet shutdown but that should be used in a proportionate manner at the same time we have to understand whenever there are alternative ways available the internet shutdown should not be used and the scope of the internet shutdown should be limited and such internet shutdown should be temporary it should be temporary major not long term major fine so in this manner we should analyze this any question okay now moving on to next article partners in the indo pacific yes Sir, 
uh, how we can able to control without without stopping blocking the time. Yes. It's a manual it's impossible. Uh, see. <clears throat> Whenever there is, let's say, law and order situation or public order situation, generally that, uh, that is located in a certain area. Try to understand. And it, it is responsibility of police and local administration to control that with immediate effective response. When that effective response is not given in time, that leads to spread of that. Okay, the problem is this one. At present, what is happening? The government is using this blanket ban of internet shutdown and then slowly, slowly the administration is responding. But it is affecting all people, right? Those who are not involved, majority of the people are not involved in the right situation or uh, we can say that that public order, it is not getting impacted or it is not involved in the law and order situation. Right? So, this should be temporarily major for one day one night or two days such kind of let's say and immediately the strong response should be there try to understand this should be used for preparation of the response by the administration and that preparation should be quick enough and minimal impact of this internet shutdown on the daily life or routine of the common people right Okay, yes. Now, moving on to next, partners in Indo-Pacific. Yes, the context of this article is recently the inaugural 2 plus 2 ministerial level meeting between India and Australia. The meeting between foreign ministers and defense ministers of two countries happened recently and therefore the article is written here. We have to understand the bilateral relation between India and Australia. So, let us understand that. First of all, the article is talking about how there is growth in the bilateral relations in recent times. We need to structureize it in three parts. First of all, we can talk about strategic cooperation. In recent times, it has improved. Yes, in, yes, in last year, two countries elevated their, let us say, strategic cooperation or strategic partnership from bilateral strategic partnership to comprehensive strategic partnership in 2020 last year this is first important thing second important thing is elevation of let us say secretary level 2 plus 2 meetings to now the ministerial level 2 plus 2 meeting. Okay, this year for the first time such kind of 2 plus 2 ministerial level meeting. Earlier there was secretary level, foreign secretary, defense secretary level meeting. Now it has elevated. This shows there is improvement in the strategic cooperation. Then we can talk about the defense and security cooperation. Yes, both countries have intensified the defense cooperation, be it in terms of bilateral or multilateral, which is visible from, let's say, the decision to include Australia in the Malabar exercise last year. Right. So, Malabar exercise has become now the naval exercise of Quad countries. US, Japan, Australia and India. Okay, so this shows that the security cooperation not only in terms of bilateral but also multilateral cooperation it has improved in recent times. When we talk about the economic cooperation we should talk about the trade, bilateral trade, the volume and the amount of bilateral trade, two way trade at present it stands 24.4 billion dollars in 2020 you can use this fact in your answer 24.4 billion dollars in 2020 year last year at the same time the in recent let's say recent visit of commerce minister australian commerce minister they announced that there will be early harvest agreement by december by end of this year which will pave way for 
let's say early enactment of free trade agreement or we can say that comprehensive economic partnership agreement okay so in this manner we should understand the economic cooperation and how it is improving however there are some issues that both countries face in terms of cooperation and improving their relation for example india has a very high tariff for agriculture and dairy products for foreign countries so australia is known for export of agriculture and dairy products it is very important but due to this high tariff australian companies or their exports in terms of agriculture and dairy products uh, they are not able to increase those exports to india then india faces non tariff barriers to its goods at the same time india's skilled personnel in australian labor market face discrimination so these are the issues that are there in terms of bilateral cooperation you can mention that right so in future we can expect the cooperation increase in cooperation between two countries because the interest of both countries in indo pacific region is converging especially towards china there is conflictual relations between china and australia in recent times in terms of economic relations especially at the same time we have to understand that us is banking on india australia and japan to contain china and its economic and military rise in indo pacific region right so this will converge our interest both in terms of strategic and defense and economic interest also fine any question even if the direct question is not asked you should be aware whenever the question is talking about indo pacific region you should always talk about india india australia relations also right yes now positive climate yes the context of this article is that recent visit of john kerry us special envoy on climate recently visited india and in that visit the outcome already we talked about this outcome there was let's say institution of this climate action and finance mobilization dialogue under under climate change and finance action partnership 2030 between india and us that was signed earlier when bidens leaders summit on climate was conducted right so under that partnership this dialogue is instituted in earlier lecture we talk about there are three pillars of this dialogue wherein the climate action and finance mobilization is going to be done now this can be understood from the us cooperation on climate action now we can understand that john kerry has visited india just before the cop26 that is going to happen in glasgow uk in november month right so why he visited to pressurize india to commit for zero emissions zero carbon emissions okay so there is growing pressure for india to commit itself date when it can achieve net zero net zero we can understand it is the term used for greenhouse gas emissions in in terms of we can say as a commitment or we can also say that it is talking about the amount of greenhouse gas emissions by any country and the suction of co2 or greenhouse gas gas emissions from the atmosphere that should be balanced right so this is net zero emissions all three important global emitters us and eu has committed the deadline as 2050 and china has also committed net zero deadline as 2060 but at present india has not committed such net zero emissions deadline now india's progress towards reducing emissions india is the only country in g20 grouping 
which is having or which we can say ahead of its climate commitments or INDCs that it has committed to the Paris Agreement. Okay, so when we talk about India's progress, you should mention about at present around 38% of energy mix from renewable energy. So we had committed around 40% of total 100% energy mix will come from renewable energy. At the same time, in terms of let's say reducing the emission intensity of GDP, we had committed this of 33 to 35 percent and by 2030 but we have achieved 20 percent 21 percent at present and we are in that direction to achieve before timeline itself okay so in this manner we should understand india's progress is positive here in reducing the emissions though it has not committed the net zero way forward what we can say here is that yes we are moving ahead in the positive direction to reduce emissions but at the same time we need to have adoption framework okay so mitigation is being done but adoption framework should be there there especially to those who are at highest risk for example if we are talking about the eastern coastal states like odisha and andhra pradesh the people living in the coastal areas they need to have some kind of let's say resilience towards these disasters their frequency in future may increase right so adaptation framework should be there it should act as an insurance now low cost insurance against climate related losses to those people who are facing such natural disasters in future uh, their frequency is going to increase so insurance is very important <coughs> excuse me low cost insurance then we can understand that whenever we are talking about low emissions future policies of the government must put nature at the center but what we are experiencing through many major policy decisions of the government the government is focusing on economic growth so economic growth is put at center and environment at its periphery so in future especially the economic recovery from the pandemic should always focused or uh, should be focused on we can say green growth use these words green growth should be there sustainable growth and sustainable development should be there now fuel prices quicken wpi inflation to 11.39 in august now wholesale price index data is released and the inflation prices research why they are saying research because yes in the earlier month the data yes was a little bit less than this 11.39 but now it has increased okay inflation in manufactured product escalated for the fourth month in a row to 11.4 percent as second order effects of high fuel prices kicked in what is second order effect it is spillover effect so in previous months we have seen increase in fuel prices and the spillover effect on the transportation and then on the manufacturer sector or the wages of uh, wage cost or input material this has increased and it is now reflected through the inflation in the manufacturing products okay so this is called as second order effect first order effect is direct effect on the transportation cost okay so remember such kind of terminologies in the economy right so basics about uh, wholesale price index it is actually the measure of inflation or general price changes at the first stage of transaction that is wholesale price or we can say producer level at the producer level it actually let's say understand the changes in the prices of the goods it is compiled by office of economic advisor ministry of commerce and industry at the same time it measures the inflation on year on year basis cpi earlier we talked about that measures the inflation on month on month basis 
as compared to previous month how it has improved so it is year on year basis it consists of three major groups of goods and their weightage is mentioned here okay so this is important for prelims examination and the highest weightage is given to manufactured products you can see here 564 products are there 64.23 percent is the weightage for manufactured products then the primary articles this includes food products primary articles includes food products so 22.62 and fuel and power is given 13.515 percent so total products are 697 as 100 percent weightage is given fine the core inflation which takes out food products and fuel and power which are more fluctuating the remaining is core inflation so that considers largely manufacturing products remember this core inflation takes out the fuel and food articles and then calculates the inflation in wpi fine yes no firm commitment from india on net zero john kerry while leaving india after successful visit we can say uh, india has not committed indian government has not committed any deadline for net zero emissions okay so this is the present stand you need to remember this now the data related to farmers selling their produce to different let's say markets apmc mondays private market or immediate traders or we can say government agencies like fci food corporation of india so all this data is mentioned here at the same time it is mentioning about let's say msp like for example this unawareness is shown here okay so this many percentage of households that were aware about msp so while the awareness increased the level where the still poor only 37 percent of wheat households were aware of msp in 2019 this is the situation in india that we have okay so all this data is important whenever the question or essay topic is related to agriculture sector fine so download this pdf from the description of this video link on youtube and then you can note down this data as it is it is not important just for two three crops in each of these indicators you can mention the data in your own notes fine yes now what should be answer to this question two are correct <clears throat> see we are talking about WPI and just now we talked about basics of WPI let us understand the correct statements here it is compiled by NSO this is incorrect no NSO it compiles this CPI combined urban and rural in previous lecture we talked about this this no no this wpi is compiled and released by economic advisor ministry of commerce remember this factual information okay this can be asked in prelims then it calculates the changes in prices of goods and services at producer level this is tricky statement both goods and services are mentioned in this statement in previous lecture we talked about this that wpi does not consider services only goods while cpi considers goods as services at retail prices so this is also incorrect right so we can say that neither one nor two is correct here right so answer should be d in this case right have you understood how to approach 
Yes. The two statement is not related to that question. So then how we can say neither one or two? Not related to statement. No, sir. They already given the uh, different statement, sir. Related to the phrase. I am getting confused on this paper. We are talking about WPI, right? And that's why we are saying that it calculates. It means WPI. Here also it means WPI. We are not repeating that term, right? When we are not saying that, only we are saying that consider the following statement. Then the statement will have WPI. Here also it will have WPI. Remember, both types of framing of questions is there in UPSC okay yes fine so these were important articles any question okay if you have any questions you can comment in the video comment box of this video on YouTube also also I wanted to convey this that whenever we are talking about mains related topics here try to make notes about what is being discussed in the classroom okay because for prelims related developments we are providing here all notes in this PDF but mens related very important for your mens examination right at the same time the detailed discussion further on those issues is done in ED lectures so those who have not joined ED lectures you can refer to ED videos free videos are uploaded on the website and YouTube channel and then you can if you are finding this interesting and relevant to your examination you can join the ED batches also which are starting immediately after prelims examination fine thank you contact us to avail the combo offer of general studies and public administration optional with 20% discount